Okay, we are here at the Grand Hyatt Taipei at Computex 2011. Here with Evolve 3. We have with us Warwick Dainter. Hi, how are you going? From Evolve 3, and uh, he's going to show us some of uh, your cool new products that you're announcing uh, this this month and launching this month. Yeah, this month in Australia. That's right. So, so uh, I'll be introducing the three products, which is the Maestro S, the Engen. And the convertible. Right. Maybe we can start with the, the triple boot on on the Maestro S. Okay, sure. So this is our uh, the Maestro S, which is a 10 hour battery life using the Intel Oak Trail processor. It triple boots between Android, Mego, and Windows 7. We're the first company in the world to release a triple boot system. Well, one of the benefits about this particular product is that to compete in the space where we need to actually have all day battery life. If you're using Windows and you need Excel, PowerPoint, Word, you're on the go, you need at least more than 10 hours battery life and we're hitting that benchmark on everyday use. And those are actual figures, not quite a figure. We realize that there's a business user and the business user needs to travel a lot. So when you're traveling and you're uh, on the aeroplane especially, that we realised that a kickstand on the back never works because it ends up falling off your tray. So one of the things that we did was we designed the kickstand that folds up so you still get your tablet experience. When it folds out, it gives you your everyday kickstand. And it still has a user interface on there with your five screens. And you just drag and drop your apps or your programs onto the home page. Nice, and, and you have this five screens on a Windows 7. Yes, this is five screens on Windows 7. All the right. software is designed in-house by a software team, and uh, we spent a lot of time working on the software to get it right. There's a lot of new features that we'll be continually releasing in the updates of the product. So once you buy the product and it can, has this generation on it, it'll continually update itself with new features as we release them on the software. So one of the features of this kickstand is on the aeroplane when you're traveling, that as your kickstand tends to pull off the table like this, we had to design it so that you can flip it around. When you ah. flip it around, it stops you from pulling off the tray table on the aeroplane. Nice. So you have this design with the business traveler in mind? The business traveler in mind. So with the business traveler, you need to do a lot of things, including typing. And sometimes you want to carry a netbook, but sometimes you want a tablet. Why carry a tablet and a netbook when you can carry only one device? And it's up to you to choose whenever you want to have a netbook or a tablet. So this keyboard allows you to magnetize to the front, protects the glass screen, and it powers it down. So that when you need to go, fold it up, and you're ready to go. Maybe we would. All in one PC, the engine over there. Okay, the engine is a next generation PC and uh, the name comes from being the next generation of PC where it's not an all-in-one and it's not your desktop. And being next generation that it has the ability to continue working while being unplugged from the power and uh, this gives a little bit of mobility to the PC so you can move between your lounge room and your kitchen without being plugged in. It's got built-in wide-eye uh, HD, Intel HD graphics, Intel Sandy Bridge Core i7, it's got a 500 gig hard drive and 4 gig of RAM. We also realise that when you're web chatting that uh, taking advantage of the, the Microsoft Messenger service that you've got HD, uh, HD webcam chat. So we've got a 2 megapixel camera on the front instead of the usual 1.3. So let's just demonstrate some of the HD graphics. So this particular unit, we've decided, to, we've decided to spend a lot of time working on the screen so that you've got HD graphics. It's also battery powered, so it folds flat. It's thin. No cables, nice. No cables and can be wall mounted. No cables comes from some of the things that we work with, which is wide eye. So on the back... Can you call it a desktop since there's no cables? 
<laughs> well, it's the next generation desktop. <laughs> right, okay. It takes desktop to mobile computing. So here we have uh, HDMI, LAN, and four USB ports. We also have a Blu-ray player on the side, and VESA mounting on the bottom, so you can mount it on your wall. Nice. Now some of the other features that we have with this particular device is we real, realize that a lot of PCs are missing the connectivity and a lot of tablets are missing the connectivity to the PC. This is where a particular product called Wormhole comes in. You created this product called Wormhole? This, yeah, we created this product called Wormhole, which allows us our devices to communicate with our PC. So it's just like a a sync, right? Synchronization. It's a synchronization cable. Right. Because with Windows 7, it allows you to communicate directly because you want to take those files with you on the go. Right. Yes, you can take them with you on the cloud, but sometimes you just want to be able to plug your cable in and download them straight off your computer. So let me grab a file from over here, from the end Okay. So I'll just copy this one here. And I'll move over to here. Nice. So you move the mouse over. All the mouse and the keyboard moves over. And then we just paste the file onto the desktop or into whatever folder you want. Take this file from over here. We'll copy it. I'll paste it straight over into this folder over here. There you go. So it's called Wormhole and uh, it's, it's a software you created? Software was created with various partners because uh, one of the things is to build the software into the chip because the chip in a particular device allows the information to be transferred across. So it's a combination between software and hardware. Right. So it's not just pure software? It's, it's not just pure software, it's software and hardware that allows us to do this. Great, we so... Can, we can also transfer files across between uh, the system in Android mode and also uh, between iPad. So what are the price points we're looking at for these three products? Okay, so for these three products, yeah. we're looking at for the Maestro S, it's going to be 700. 700 and US? 700 US, right. the engine starts from 1500, 1500, and the Maestro convertible starts from 750. Ah, so you just $50 extra for that kicks then. Yeah. When you will you will be out in the market? Okay, so these will be out next month in Australia. Right. And, uh, and it will be available from leading edge stores in Australia, and then it will also be available in the US later this year. Right. Okay, so Thanks a lot, Warwick. Thank you. No problems. Thank right. you. Thank you.